in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit amen the grace of our lord jesus christ and the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit brethren let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries i confess to almighty god and to you my brothers and sisters that i have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words in what i have done and in what i have failed to do through my fault through my fault through my most grievous fault therefore i ask blessed mary of a virgin all the angels and saints and to you my brothers and sisters to pray for me to the lord our god may almighty god have mercy on us forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy glory to god in the highest and, and on earth peace, peace to people of good will we yes. praise you we bless you we adore you we glorify you we give you thanks for your great glory lord god heavenly king a god almighty father lord jesus christ only begotten son lord god lamb of god son of the father you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us you take away the sins of the world receive our prayer you are seated at the right hand of the father have mercy on us for you alone are the holy one you alone are the lord you alone are the most high jesus christ with the holy spirit in the glory of god the father amen let us pray god of might giver of every good gift put into your hearts the love of your name so that by deepening our sense of reverence you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care keep safe what you have nurtured through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit one god forever and ever amen a reading from the letter of saint paul to corinthians brothers and sisters let no one deceive himself if any one among you considers himself wise in this age let him become a fool so as to become wise for the wisdom of this world is foolishness in the eyes of god for it is written god catches the wise in their own ruses and again The Lord knows the thoughts of the wise that they are vain. So, let no one boast about human beings, for everything belongs to you. Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or the present or the future all belong to you and you to Christ and Christ to God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Sam To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it The Lord's are the earth and its fullness the world and those who dwell in it for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the rivers To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Who can ascend the mountain of the Lord or who may stand in his holy place? He whose hands are sinless, whose heart is clean, who desires not what is vain. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. He shall receive a blessing from the Lord, a reward from God his Savior. Such is the race that seeks for him, that seeks the face of God of Jacob. 
To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. To the Lord belongs the earth and all that fills it. Alleluia, alleluia. Come after me, says the Lord, and I will make you fishers of men. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, on one occasion, while the crowd was pressing in on Jesus to hear the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Gennesareth, and he saw two boats by the lake. But the fishermen had gone out of them and were washing their nets. Getting into one of the boats, which was Simon's, he asked him to put out a little from the land. And he sat down and taught the people from the boat. And when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into the deep and let down your nets for a catch. And Simon answered, Master, we toiled all night and took nothing, but at your word, I will let down the nets. And when they had done this, they enclosed a large number of fish, and their nets were breaking. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both the boats, so that they began to sink. But when Simon Peter saw it, he fell down at Jesus' knees, saying, Depart from me, for I am a sinful man, O Lord. For he and all who were with him were astonished at the catch of fish that they had taken. And so also were James and John, sons of Zebedee, who were partners with Simon. And Jesus said to Simon, Do not be afraid, for now on you will be catching men. And when they had brought their boats to land, they left everything and followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, in today's narrative, Jesus tells the disciples to go deep into the water and throw their nets. Here in this miracle, we understand that Jesus not only have power over the sick and the demons, but also over the nature. And on the catch, the disciples were astonished. Here, Luke uses another deeper meaning, which shows us about the pastoral mission of the disciples. Here in this pastoral mission of the disciples, they have to go deep into their own lives and do as Jesus commands them. Only then the pastoral mission will be successful. So, in our lives, let's try to be more faithful to Jesus and to live according to his words. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received 
the wine we offer you fruit of the wine and work of human hands it will become our spiritual drink pray brethren that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church may this sacred offering our lord confer on us always the blessing of salvation that what it celebrates in mystery it may accomplish in power through christ a lot amen the lord be with you and with your spirit lift up your hearts we lift them up to the lord let us give thanks to the lord our god it is right and just it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god for in you we live and move and have our being and while in this body we not only experience the daily effects of your care but even now possess the pledge of life eternal for having received the first fruits of the spirit through whom you raised up jesus from the dead we hope for an everlasting share in the paschal mystery and so with all the angels we praise you as in joyful celebration we acclaim holy 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 lord of gods heaven and earth are full of your glory hosanna in the highest blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord hosanna in the highest you are indeed holy o lord the fount of all holiness make holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our lord jesus christ at the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you in a similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we proclaim your death o lord and profess your resurrection until you come again therefore as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection we offer you lord the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of christ we may be gathered into one by the holy spirit Remember Lord your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our pope and Joseph Cariel our bishop and all the clergy Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face 
have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to be cohesed to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ through him and with him and in him O God almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen at the savior's command and formed by divine teaching we dare to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our savior jesus christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever lord jesus christ who set your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of the lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other the sign of peace lamb of god you take care of the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take care of the sins of the world have mercy on us lamb of god you take care of the sins of the world grant us peace Behold the lamb of God behold him who takes away the sins of the world blessed are those called to the supper of the lamb lord lord i am not worthy that you should enter under my roof but only say the word and my soul shall be healed My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
the lord be with you and with your spirit may almighty god bless you the father and the son and the holy spirit amen the mass is ended go in peace of the lord thanks be to god